Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Today, let's start with a game. Here's a game with dice we'll play, and it's called Roll and Switch. Jenny has two dice, one red die and one blue die. Jenny wants to practice addition by rolling the dice and adding the dots together. Let's have a closer look. Jenny shakes the dice and rolls them out onto her desk. The red die shows three dots and the blue die shows six dots. However, Jenny doesn't know if she should start with the three first or the six first. Well, let's try both ways to see what happens. If we start with the three first, the addition sentence will look like this. Three plus six equals what? Let's find the missing number by counting on. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are nine dots in total. The complete addition sentence is three plus six equals nine. Now, let's switch the order of the dice, and we'll start with the blue die this time. Six plus three equals what? Well, let's count on to find the missing number. Six, seven, eight, nine. Six plus three equals nine. Whoa! Did you notice something about these two addition sentences? They both equal nine. Even though we switched the order of the dice, the answer did not change. Huh, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's try that again to make sure it works with other numbers. Jenny shakes the dice again and rolls them on her desk. This time, the red die shows five and the blue die shows two. Can you make an addition sentence with these numbers? Let's start with the red die first. Five plus two equals what? Well, let's count on, starting from five. Five, six, seven. Five plus two equals seven. Now switch the order of the dice. Two plus five equals what? Let's count on, starting from two. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two plus five equals seven. Again, the answers are the same, even though we changed the order of the dice. Nice. You just learned something really helpful about addition. We can change the order of the numbers without changing the answer. The numbers that are being added together are called addends. For example, two and seven are the addends in these addition sentences. Now, make another addition sentence by switching the order of the addend. The addends are the eight and the two, so let's switch them. And two plus eight equals 10. Nice. Now let's go back to Jenny, and we're going to play another game called Roll and Group. She just found another die in her pocket, a green one, and she's ready to practice some more addition. So she rolls all three of the dice. The red die shows one, the blue die shows five, and the green die shows five. Now we have to add together one plus five plus five. But wait a minute. Jenny already knows that five plus five equals 10. So first, she's gonna group the blue and green dice together to make a 10. Now, she just has to add one plus 10. One plus 10 equals 11. Yeah, that was fast. And just like that, she added up three numbers. One plus five plus five equals 11. This is another cool thing about addition. It doesn't matter which numbers you add first. We can group add-ins together even if they're out of order. And this can help us add together three numbers more easily. For example, if we already know that 5 plus 5 equals 10, then we can do that small addition problem first and then add the 1. Let's try it one more time. Jenny rolls the dice again. This time, the add-ins are 2, 6, and 4. Jenny looks at the add-ins carefully. She already knows that two plus four equals six, and so she will group those two add-ins together to make a six. And now she has to add six plus six. When both add-ins are the same, this is called a doubles fact. And Jenny has memorized many doubles facts, and she knows that six plus six equals 12. By grouping together two add-ins, she was able to easily add together two, six, and four. Addition is pretty cool. Today you learned that the numbers that are added together are called add-ins. 
and you can switch the order of the atoms, and the answer will stay the same. You can also group them together in different ways, and the answer will still stay the same. That can help you solve addition problems much more easily and quickly. Just remember that this is only for addition, not for subtraction. You did a great job switching, grouping, and adding together dice today. Even three dice. What a mighty win. Now grab some of your own dice and practice this with a friend, and I'll see you next time.